I'm Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening. Today I'm going to do a few herbaceous perennials that are easy to grow in shade. Let's start off with the ones which flower in the spring because a lot of shade loving plants are spring flowering and quite a few of them are quite easy plants to grow such as Epimedium. This is Epimedium cross versicolor sulfureum, has beautiful soft yellow flowers in the springtime which come up before the foliage. This is the old foliage or the foliage that has grown through the summer and this particular foliage will go through the winter. It will change from being the pale green to being sort of a bronzy brown cover, stay as a lovely ground cover. And then in the spring, just before it starts to flower or when you think it's about to put on buds at the base, you would cut that foliage down to ground level, allowing the beauty of the new flowers to come through and really shine in the spring just about or just after the snowdrops have been and it is a great ground cover. They are divisible, really, really easy. They don't mind what soil type they grow in. So that is a good one and they make a good mat. Then you have the telema. This is Telema grandiflora and this is the rubra group. With the rubra group, you get this lovely bronzy, almost red cut tonation to the leaf, but the reverse has a lovely red color to it. So when it blows in the breeze or it's coming through, you will always see, depending on what side you are looking at the plant, you will see a bit of that red back, but you get the lovely veins, which are beautifully red as the new leaves come through. This is a clump former. This makes lovely large clumps, about a foot to 18 inches. That is 30 centimetres, 45 centimetres across. And then the foliage makes a lovely mound. And in the spring, above that foliage, probably double the height of the foliage, you get beautiful flowers. And on this particular form, they start green and then they fade off to being a pinky red with a lovely perfume. So these are great for shade as well. And again, they don't really mind the soil type. Another one which is really good and will run around, now you have to take care with this one, this is Euphorbia separiceus. Yes, it's putting on a little bit of a flower here, but normally it flowers in the spring. And then as these bracts and flowers go over, they get a little bit of an orange tint to it. Now this will go in poor soils, it will go in shade, it will go in sun, but it does run. So it comes with a warning that it will run around, but it's brilliant for underneath hedges and giving you ground cover underneath hedges where it should difficult area to get anything to grow. So that is Euphorbia separiceus. Then we have things which are starting to flower now and again are clump formers but will make quite big clumps and this is Potentilla tongii. Beautiful orange, pale orange flowers there with a lovely red centre. Masses of these flowers going to appear and the flowers go out sideways. Lovely clumps of foliage. It's not totally evergreen, but you will get quite a lot of this foliage still looking good through into the later winter months. And then in the spring, you can just take off the old foliage and the plant will carry on. So that is another good one for a shady spot and easy to grow. If you want something with a bit more height and you want a bit of flower at this time of the year, then there are phlox. Most people think of phlox as being plants for sunny spots, but these uh, maculata types, this is maculata delta with these beautiful white flowers with a tiny little pink eye in here, strong dark stems, narrow foliage, which is glossy green before it starts to come up into flower. This is a woodlander, so it will go in shade, semi-shade, makes a clump, so it is something that comes from the base here and just going to spread slightly, slightly sideways. Should hold itself up well. So this is another good one for shade and flowering in the summer, so that's quite good and a bit of height with flower in the shade is always something that is nice to have. Lift and divide these and it's probably best done in the spring. It has a perfume as well, so that is always good. Phlox, Maculata, Delta. Ferns, there are lots and lots of ferns that you can grow and are relatively easy to grow. This one 
is the sensitive fern. So this one is Onoclea sensibilis. Now this is just low at the moment. If it's in better soil or had a reasonable amount of moisture, it would be double this height and it spreads and runs around. So it's a really good mid-height ground cover plant for a shady spot and really quite an easy fern to grow, but it is deciduous, so it will die back down. Then it will come back up in the spring and look really good for you. It is one that you can lift and divide because it runs around a bit. Then lastly, not everything is about um, the flowers because we've had a lot of foliage stuff already. This is Persicaria virginiana var filiformis. It has these amazing chocolate spots on the leaves. The leaves start limey green, you get the chocolate spot and then it gradually goes up. It's got wiry stems which again are sort of a burgundy red colour and it will gradually get taller and then eventually it does flower and you get these wiry flower stems that come up with tiny little red flowers on there. Really looks amazing when it's in full flower. So this is quite tall, quite architectural and it's going to carry on looking good it looks great while it's growing like this and then gradually gets taller gonna get up to somewhere around about three feet with its flower so that will be um, in flower probably middle September is when you'd expect it to be in flower end of August middle of September carries on being of interest right the way through until you get to late October again it is a herbaceous perennial it will die back down and then it will come through for the spring for you. So just something slightly different. So you're not just growing plants for their um, flower necessarily, you're growing them to be there to give you leaf, leaf color, leaf shape, and interest through a long season until they flower. So these are all easy to grow, shade loving perennials that have interest at different times of the year. They will all look great laid out together and they are super plants. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel.